Welcome back, everybody. This is the Johnny Mare, and I am continuing with Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. And we are continuing on with the Demon Path so that we can be bad as we head to the town of Thuris. What's that up in the sky? No, it's the legendary dragon, Slooperam! Really? You really did that? No, no, you're all wrong. That's the fellow what was fighting that monster the other day. But how are they flying way up there? This ain't right. It appears things are getting very dangerous around here. Perhaps it's time for us to stop. What do you think? <laughs> That's a damn good idea. Yeah, I think I'm ready to head back home. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Dio. Slash Odie. So there's a w w world leader here. <laughs> where, where, where is it? Where are you, d demon? Ooh, I've never been here before. It's all sandy. I should take some home with me. Hey, Thuris! I know you're out there. Come on, show us that pretty face. What's all the racket? Master, you're back. What is it this time? <laughs> I wanted to introduce you to the kid here. Master, your greetings are always so painful. You were gone for so long. I never expected to see you again when you showed up the other day. And, you know, it hurts just thinking about it. Even after eating all my followers' souls, it took three days to recover. <laughs> you should be happy it only took three days. You're gonna have some real fun today. My disciples, Kanan, come to my aid! Lord Thurus, what's wrong? Hey, who's this? It's the devil! Destroy the devil! Yes, Lord. A Draken Preacher! Human and Sep followers! Quite a little utopia you've got here! We might actually have a challenge this time! Good luck, everyone! Gee, thanks, Pen. You know, you could uh, come in here and maybe serve as a distraction or a sacrifice to keep these guys occupied. And ah, uh, great, we have to take on the cross-dressing Kanan. Of course, Thuris has his, uh... Preacher serving as a kind of in-between to keep us at bay, although of course she's not nearly as dangerous as she was when we took her on during the main storyline. But this is an interesting battle in a sense. We're taking on our second world leader. We beat Fane last episode, sort of. I mean, she wasn't really trying that hard. In this episode, we're going to take on Thuris and his followers. Or I should say we're going to eradicate them. Oh my goodness, what the heck? You may have noticed that uh, that exploded. And that is because Thuris's groups all have the Flame Destiny Decor, which is a specialty decor that causes your party to explode if you're defeated. So I think self-destruct or explosion from the Pokemon series. So kind of keep that in mind. It's not a huge deal. Obviously, we have a lot of HP with Gideons. They have around, I don't know, four to 500 at this point. So doing uh, 100 points of damage is not really going to do that much. And it mainly just hits your leader of your group. It doesn't actually do a ton of damage to your secondary characters. So you can use the Gideon groups because they do have their ranged magic attack. So you can use that to attack the followers from a distance. 
And uh, that will allow you to potentially take them out without having to deal with the explosion afterwards. So we'll do that with this group. And uh, all of the parties except the Pyre Mages are not that difficult. They are not really dangerous at all. Now the Pyre Mages are, especially if they use their Terror Blaze ability. They have an amazing range with that. And they will actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> so many criticals. Uh, and what's interesting about this battle is of course we're taking on Thurus and Kanan. If you actually take out Thurus, he has a reanimate decor, so he'll actually reanimate with 1 HP. And Kanan actually has that as well. And that is for a very particular reason. We're gonna find that out in a second if she happens to attack. Let's see what happens here. I mean, we know what's gonna happen, death. But, she reanimates. This power, how are you so strong? It's cause there's no barrier. My soulmate here has no problem using my power. Freedom of the heart, you dig? That voice. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I am the master of death after all. No, that voice, it's the voice of the true god. I've been deceived. What have I done? How could I have been such a fool? What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I understand now. I understand it all. You are the only true being. And now you want me to cast down the devil who calls himself Thuris. I might not have much to offer, but I give myself to you. Kanan, how dare you betray me? I am your god. Come, my followers, destroy the faithless. So yeah, Kanan decides to become our ally. That's uh, kind of surprising, I guess. I don't know. And I should really check Thurus's range here to make sure he can't attack me. Because he does have his ranged attacks and they're somewhat powerful. Wish I could attack that Pyre Mage, but I guess we'll just take out this group instead and yes, do some damage to Thurus. Now she is an ally, which means we can't actually control her, at least not yet. But you'll notice that uh, it's just her and she has one hit point left, so she will die as soon as someone attacks her. But uh, I do want to take out that Pyre Mage if I can, so it should be safe to move here and then use Demon Force. And that is pretty much all we have to worry about. Thurus really can't do a ton of damage to us. I mean, he'll do around 200 points, and he will cause, um, I believe, poison with his abilities. But uh, I'm not super concerned about that. We have about 500 hit points, so we should be good. We'll let these guys kill themselves by running at our Gideons, and then we'll finish this battle off very quickly. Ow. All right, thank you for using Collusion instead of your stupid Terror Blaze ability. And I'm gonna let my main party go after Thurus. Let's heal up here. Bam! And now all we have left is Thurus and I believe that Pyre Mage group. So let's head in and let's use Demon Blast. Start taking them out. Remember, world eaters cannot counterattack. Now, Thurus can summon those demon things we faced during the uh, first part of the game, but uh, you know that takes up his turn, so he doesn't usually do that. And you'll notice his stats are not anywhere near levels that we have to be concerned about. We're still very early on in the demon path, so things are not too difficult yet. Okay, we can move a little bit closer if we want. And then we'll use our supernova. Sweet. Alright, now it's just Thurus. 
Let's go, big guy. Yeah, it's not really gonna help ya. That might actually lower defense, too, so it may kill my healer next turn if he does it again. The question will be if I can kill him or not before that happens. Let's move in. And, uh, we'll use our supernova. And then we'll finish him off. Okay. Not sure we'll even need a Demon Blast. Well, the unfortunate thing here is he will revive. So he's actually gonna get an attack in. Luckily it didn't kill anyone but our healer, as anticipated, and there he goes. It's another World Eater down. Things are going much smoother and quicker than when we had to be a good guy. It pays to be evil, I guess. Let's see what happens now that we've taken out Thurus. Oh, wait! Look what I've got! Oh, I'm sorry, he caught me. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Yeah, I really don't care. Uh, no! You can't do that! You're human! You're not allowed to attack! When I am a hostage, you can't be human. Well, not anymore. <laughs> cool. You didn't even think twice about me. That's like the evilest of the evil. Damn, this rugrat almost dies and he's getting off on it. You scare me, brat. Yeah, we don't care if you take a human hostage. They're all just pawns. Was that enough for you, kid? No way. Not even close. Ha! How much power did I give you? All right then. If you still got some energy left over, why not destroy the city or something? All right, sounds good. It's a demon! The devil! The Grim Reaper! What are you... Uh, please, at least spare the child. Nah. Stop it! Just die. Ah. See you later, kid. Hey look, I got something. They didn't exactly give it to you. You've really gone off the deep end, huh? Even I wouldn't go that far. Whatever compassion you might have had is blown totally out the window. It's so cool. Th that to, to do that such d destruction. All right, well, let's head home. My lord, please wait. Hey, uh, I think she meant me. I've witnessed your glorious power. It was wonderful. It has moved me deeply. Please, if you would, take me with you. Geez, suck up much? But Drakens are pretty strong, I guess. We can make her take care of the brat. I guess if we have to. Oh, thank you, my lord. I'm ecstatic to have your blessing. <laughs> Quite the motley crew we're getting here. And uh, yes, we do now have Kanan in our group so we can add her to parties. So what we'll do is we'll make kind of a storyline character party. You know, she's at level 38, not super powerful. She does have some interesting abilities and we still have Galahad, of course, as well. 
So we'll throw them both into a party with Kataro over here. I believe that's his name. Or Kotaro, whatever it is. And next time we will head back home. Thanks for watching viewers, I'll see you all in my next episode. So long!